is the mayor, our mayor, mayor, the, the mayor of the city of Newark, Mayor Raz Baraka. <laughs> So I, I just want to clear a couple of things up because a lot of people benefit from chaos and we don't want that. Uh, Senator Rice and I have never been at odds. We never will be. The Alliance for Newark Public Schools, we're not at odds. We never will be. The Newark Student Union and I have never been at odds. In fact, we've been out supporting them from the very beginning. We'll support them every opportunity that they have to come out. As a matter of fact, most of us are here today because of the work that young people did. While many of us are benefiting from where we are today, the young people got us to this point. This is a historic moment, whether people want to agree with it or not. Somebody said that I read before that Jim Crow is not over. They're wrong. Racism is not dead, but legal apartheid in America is gone. Legal apartheid in America was gone because workers marched, because people went across Selma, because people were killed, because they did all of those things, so it's gone. To say that it still exists is an affront to all those people who died and risked their lives to get us to the point we are today. If legal apartheid still existed, Barack Obama wouldn't be the President of the United States, whether we agree with everything he does or not. We have to remember analytically where we are in stages. We're fighting for local control, an elected school board. No matter what people tell you, no matter what nonsense you hear, the Baraka got this, he got that. We are fighting for local control of an elected school board, of all elected school board members. Now you can listen to crackpots if you want, but we're fighting for an elected school board right here in the city of Newark, and we deserve it. 20 years ago, I was a teacher in Newark Public Schools. When the state took over our schools, I was a teacher 20 years ago. We, we've been under state control under Democratic and Republican governors. We've been under state control for all of this time, all of the fight and the struggle we've done, we've been under state control. We've never had a discussion, never in the city of Newark about local control. We've never been at this point of transition. We've never had this debate whether what side you land on. We never had this fight about how we get local control, who's gonna be on it, but damn it, we having it today because of young people in this city and because people stood up and because people have been talking about what we should do in education in the city of Newark. We have an opportunity here and we need to seize it and you need to continue to let your voices be heard. Whatever your concerns are, you should voice them. Whatever your issues are, you should raise them. Whatever the things you believe, you should say those things. Whatever, whatever opportunity you have to march, you should do that. But the reality is, we are marching and fighting for local control. Now what is my thinking? My thing is, is I don't want anybody to tell me who the superintendent is. I don't care who they are. I don't want anybody to tell me who the superintendent is. I'm tired of people appointing good-natured superintendents. I'm tired of people appointing superintendents that you might like or superintendents that you hate. We don't want any of them. We don't want any of them. We want to decide ourselves who our superintendent is. We want to decide ourselves how the school board looks. We want to decide ourselves what happened in education in the city of Newark. We want self-determination, and we want it now. We want it today. If we can get it tomorrow, then we should get it tomorrow. If we can get it uh, a week from now, we should get it a week from now. But never lose sight of what we're fighting for. We're fighting for total and complete freedom. Total and complete not a master that we like. We're not fighting for an overseer that we agree with. We're not happy to dance on a plantation. We don't want the plantation. We oppose the slavery. We oppose to the things that are happening. We want them all to go. And we want a superintendent that's picked by the people of this community, by the people of this city, in all wards, in all communities, that they decide publicly and democratically at an election booth to determine who is the school board and who is the superintendent of our schools. And this fight will always, always be about that. God bless you. So